Of course he'd arrive in that. Miss Fry? Hand him your weapons. We must enter an armed. Go on in, sir and madam. Dear man, I am soon to become prime minister. What in the blazes is our carriage doing here? Did I hear something? No, just the voices in your own head. And yet, they are so much more pleasant than yours. Charming. Aren't I? I shall go and find the piece of Eden. As you wish. I'm off to meet Freddy. The plans are located in the white drawing room, which is most likely locked. The captain of the guard will have a key. You'll get walked over else. It's not good enough.
rubbish. That much is certain. <laughs> is it rubbish to believe that things are fine the way they are? My dear fellow, that's not. She could be Prime Minister. <laughs> What a good English name. <laughs> Thank you. But Helga wants the child. Young and foolish. You are going to escort me. Keep your mouth closed, and this will be over before you know it. Who are you? The lady is with me. Much obliged. Madam? Gentle. That hurts. My arm. Gentle. I'd say they ought to put funds into taking care of the home front first. But Gentle. That hurts. That hurts. My arm. That hurts.
The plans are somewhere nearby. Now for the vault. Jacob's most likely off stealing another carriage somewhere, or accidentally pushing the Queen down a flight of stairs. There you are! <laughs> I have someone I'm simply dying for you to meet. Uh... Come with me! Your Majesty, may I present Miss uh, Evie Fry? You're the one responsible for Mr. Gladstone's mishap. Your Majesty, I apologize. I... The cake is particularly good. Enjoy the ball. I really must be going. Miss Fry, may I have this dance? Mr. Starrick, you've had your fun, but the game is over. Uh -uh. Listen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Time is a wonderful thing, Miss Fry. It heals all wounds. We may make mistakes while dancing. But the mazurka ends, and then we begin again. Problem is, everyone forgets. They trip on the same mistakes over and over. People can learn. Can they? Isn't everyone around you repeating the same steps? But if one man could remember the dance, could know the time, then he could change things for the better. I have had enough. This dance is nearly over. Soon, the people will forget the generation on this terrace. The ruin you nearly wrought on London. When the music ceases, Miss Fry, your time is up. And mine... Begins. Take to fatherhood like a What's that you said? That's not to say you both have bad What did you tell her? Oh, his nose is Freddy. Starrick peppered the regulars with his own men and took several guards hostage. Your weapons are in there. Look. Right. I'll kill the imposters and rescue the captives. How? It's impossible to tell the difference. Oh, ye of little faith.
Now to find the real royal guards. Ooh, dancing. And with Staric, no less. How awkward that must be. I'll get you out. Thank you, sir. Thanks, mate. What's going on? I'm Maybe you can change your attitude if I come over here. We're finished here. Hold still for a moment. You have my thanks. Thanks, mate. There's something going on. Bagger off, I'll be
The key to the waltz is one must lead with one's right foot. Oh, my! Everything all right, my dear? Do you require assistance? I never liked balls. <laughs> Here, the location of the vault. Go! Just like that? No plan? No time for plans. I'll catch up as soon as I'm rid of this infernal contraption. Exploiting, I warn you, my boy, but you do not listen. Requiem's cart and pache. London. The shroud was never meant for you. You Let me rectify my mistake.
ruler who will remain vigilant. Who will prevent no one. <laughs> We have you against the wall, Derek. You're trapped. Derek! Your reign is nearly over. It has barely begun. Shall we? Let's. London will perish without me. You flatter yourself. I would have created a paradise. The city belongs to the people. You are but one man. I am at the very top of the order. You were, Mr. Starek. <laughs> you were. Shame we won't be partners anymore. It's for the best, isn't it? Are you gonna wear the shroud and run London? Whatever it gives, it takes from someone else. You'd continue to age without me. You'd become like father. A fate worse than death. Will you wear it? After you sorted out the boroughs, the chaos I caused, I couldn't compete. Jacob Fry is stepping back. Who's blackmailing you? Is it George? He wouldn't dare. <laughs> I've missed you. Me too. Would it be possible to continue where we left off? I'd love nothing more. I'm starting to think Father didn't know everything about everything. <laughs> Henry. It's a big world out there. With London in the center. Perhaps not the very center. I came as soon as I could. Do not worry. I'll... I'll head back to the train. Did I... Did I jeopardize the mission? Henry, you saved it.
I think you belong in the field with me. A carriage. Nicely done, Freddy. Mr. Aberline, please. Your Majesty. Miss Fry. You've met before? Did I never mention? Mr. Aberline informs me that you three are responsible for saving my life. Is this true? It is, Your Majesty. Evie Fry, step forward. And you? My brother, ma'am. Jacob Fry. And this is Mr. Henry Green. Mr. Fry? Mr. Green? Neil? I invest you all in the Order of the Sacred Garter. Thank you, Your Majesty. If you are as adept as Mr. Abilene implies, I may call on you. Sergeant Abilene tends to exaggerate, Your Majesty. We shall meet again. And Miss Fry? Ma'am? Should you want it? I saved you some cake. <laughs> Father would be proud of you. <laughs> Dame Evie Fry. <laughs> Sir Jacob Fry. <laughs> Race you to the train. You're on. That's it. It's under the palace. Time to go. Let's get the shroud to Dr. Grammatica immediately. Sigma team beat us here. We're too late. What do we do? Killing really is the least productive way to achieve our goals. Kill them all. Contact! Cover me! That skinny piece of shit tried to murder me, Berg. I want him to bleed. Matters. Understood. Sean! Uh. 
Galena, we need an exit. Secure the vault. All targets are righteous. We need to go. Now! Understood. Forget the bloody shroud. Stay with me, Bex. Please. We go. Good work in there, Initiate. In time, we will recover the shroud. And hey, we pulled a feed from our bug in Isabel's computer before they shut us out. Playing it now. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> so, how's the Shroud gonna help you create a new clone? It's not... When the Shroud is wrapped around the body, it scans it for damage and then reconstructs it on a cellular level. You're not making a clone. You're gonna recreate a precursor from scratch. Bingo! The Phoenix Project timetable just got accelerated big time. I'm going to call Alan Rick and deliver the good news. <laughs> it's like Christmas! <laughs> Hello? It's me? You brought the shroud as you asked, but I'm scared. Do not fear me. You've done well. I'm not scared of you. I'm scared for you. Anyone finds out what you've been doing. You have played your part, my instrument. I will save you. I will save you all. My newly honored friends. Your Majesty. We understand that with Crawford Staric gone, a certain secret society finds itself searching for leadership. An upstart faction seeks to enter London and seize power. Do you feel your life is in danger, ma'am? No. Rather, I fear that the people of this grand city may suffer. I call upon you to foil this traitorous plot. You can depend on us. You will meet my loyal aide at the docks for instructions. Your work begins immediately.
everything you need to survive the streets. Right here. I am Alfred Fleming. I run Her Majesty's Secret Service. First things first, we need to clear the area of anything that might alarm the enemy. Like that police carriage. Would you kindly dispose of it? Agents are here disguised as civilians. Get them into position for our ambush. The ship will soon arrive from Boston. Its cargo, dynamite. Its crew, Templar. What say you to greeting it with an ambush? If we must, we must. That's their leader. I want him brought to me at the station, alive. Care to tell me your plans? Go to hell! Now, now! Steric may be dead and gone, but the Templar Order will never die! We will rise again, like a phoenix from the ashes, and bring the world to its knees! Yes, well, best of luck with that.
thank you. I'll carry on from here. My people are recovering their explosive cargo. You did fine work today. I will have a chat with our distinguished guest here to see what schemes he and his friends are brewing. Do let me know if he says anything interesting. Of course. Fleming has attempted to force a confession from your prisoner. The miscreant refuses to talk. Will you speak to the villain and learn his secrets? Leave it to me, Your Majesty. That's it. Must 
I pummel you severely about the head and shoulders? Or can we simply talk? Please. Might as well. The order was to load a train with explosives at Westminster. It'll detonate before reaching Southwark Station and kill everyone aboard. You people and your damn dynamite. When does it happen? It's the next train. It should leave at any moment. now. <laughs> Our much lamented husband adored these gardens. He called them his one safe port in the midst of the mad seas of this world. We miss him dearly. But never mind all that. To business. 
Our Mr. Fleming has learned from the Templar prisoner that an attack is imminent. But before we could learn more, he escaped custody. He is believed to be hiding in Westminster. We capture him for us, that we might learn his secrets. He won't be free for long, ma'am. I promise. soon enough. <laughs> Your fellow conspirators soon enough. Too many innocents nearby. I'll snatch away the explosives before continuing the hunt. Come on. to these upstart Templars and quickly.
The final group of upstarts are making their last desperate stand. They have penetrated the Houses of Parliament and plan to detonate whatever explosives they have left. Please find Mr. Fleming, so we might put an end to this once and for all. targets inside the palace, all armed and dangerous. Making matters worse, the Prime Minister has gone missing. I need you to deal with the Templars. Target one is in a nearby corridor, surrounded by civilians. He has explosives on his person. Well done. But there are still more bombers about. They must be removed quickly and quietly.
closer. Catch the devil. He mustn't escape. Steady, Prime Minister. I'll have you free in a moment. Not another step, assassin. You've lost, don't you see? The Houses of Parliament are rigged to explode at the last stroke of twelve. There's nothing you or anyone else can do to stop it now. Find those bombs before they go off! Thank you, my young friend. Now, please come with me. You and your sibling have been summoned. Approach. You have honored us with your loyalty and courage. Long may we strengthen the Empire together. Your Majesty, we will always work to ensure the safety of the people. But with the greatest respect, our philosophy forbids us from assisting with the expansion of the Empire. Perhaps, ma'am, you could consider putting an end to your imperialist desires. I understand and respect your position. Bound as you are by your creed, you will indulge me one final time and receive these gifts. Goodbye, and may God bless the noble fries. I don't suppose you'll be offered any more cake. 